Well, my dog Daisy and I are at a road cut that's known for glossular red garnet. Love to find some? Join me, let's have a little adventure. So let's just look at a few of these rocks to start. Always gives us an indication as to what's going on. So that's calcite. There's more calcite down there, but not seeing any mineralization on it. That's starting to look interesting. There's one right there. See my thumb? But it's very small and it's all by itself. An independent crystal. And there's some bigger rocks like this one. Broken calcite, little calcite crystal. So I'm kind of hoping for is someone set something aside and the rain's washed it off, and it just jumps right out, out at me, sparkly, sparkly. But okay. I'll tell you what that mineral is when I get home. Okay, do some digging into a sieve. I dug way back into the hillside here. But you know something? I'm thinking the best ones are coming out right at the grassroot level. I'm thinking that might not be a bad rock. Okay, we're keeping that one for sure. Maybe real little ones in there. Just along the edge there. And then calcite, I'll keep it. Maybe. See how rough that one is? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. It's another one that's really rough. If it's got anything, it's going to be awfully teeny, I think. So here's some of the rocks I've been keeping. Ones that are obviously rough or relative to the other rocks for its size that are heavy. And then, of course, anything that's shiny. But what I really need to do with these rocks is wash them off. Some strange shapes. So I'm hopeful. Oh, 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 oh. Look at the top there. Look at the top of that one. I just kept it because it was strange. Now I can see. <sighs> see that? There's another one exactly the same, I think. Yeah, look at that, right in there. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> well, with some cleaning, a lot of the rocks were duds. But let's take a look and then think about next steps. Okay, so there we go. You can actually see that some of the ones were just calcite but 
you know, interesting crystals. That one there. Almost looked like a tremolite. But I think it's probably sodium feldspar. Something like that was very rough inside and I really think it deserves some more attention. As do some of the others. Another example. These ones have really small crystals on it. They're pretty, but they're teeny. And there's a couple others like that. There's one. Actually, they're getting a little larger of size, but still, you know, relative to my finger, that's a pretty small sample. Oh, there's a single crystal there. That's kind of cool. A little cutesy. The two best, of course, were identified right when I dug them as being pretty good crystals. Isn't that nice? And that one there. So, as next steps, what I have is water in a plastic container. And I want to put some of the, the marginal rocks that normally I just throw into my garden. So I want to see what's inside. This pool grade HCl, which is also known as muriatic acid. Let's add some of this, and we're doing it outside. Okay, so here we are in a rinse. First thing to notice is a couple of the rocks. This was a real black one. It was rough, so I had high hopes for it. But I think that's just mica. Here's the other side of them. And you can see in the pan itself, you might have thought there was gold in the bottom. But there's not. See how it, it moves so easy? Mica. And then we did get some garnet showing. The green is diopside. It's a bit more. So there was some stuff hiding in the rock. The green crystal there is kind of cool. That's mostly the top side. Neat structure. In this case, the white is quartz. Crystal formation up in there. Kind of neat. Very small shelf specimen, really, eh? A bug down in there. Small little bug. I think that's probably the best piece.
And then inside that cavity is kind of neat. And so ends that adventure. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.